Hello everybody, I'm back again. It's been like seven to eight months. I think y'all had been seeing the promotion I cut uh, probably seven to eight months uh, telling you about an interview I was going to do uh, with the spiritual, it was called War on Sin, the uh, spiritual warfare that I'm having with some of these male gospel singers in the industry and uh, Kurt Franklin and Donna McClurkin and Sister Yolanda Adams. And I did the promotion tape several months ago, and uh, it's time to, you know, get into this interview and uh, strip down the strongholds of Satan. But before I get into the interview, I want to introduce, uh, y'all know Daisy Collins. She's been with me several years doing the interview. And also, one of my classmates, Tammy Clark, um, we graduated from high school, Memphis, Tennessee, in yes. 1983. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be interviewing me on this, um, on this uh, interview here. And um, this interview is only for those, you won't understand none of this except you're in the spirit. I want to say that now because I don't, there's not a person on this earth that I envy or want to be like because I believe that God makes us all unique in his own way. Mm -hmm. And um, But it's time to expose uh, the, the tactics and the craftiness of Satan. You know, and those of you that are going through spiritual warfare, you're going to understand this. But if you're looking at these, some of these people as celebrities or your mortal gods that you're idolizing, you're not going to see anything that I'm saying. So I'm telling you, when you listen to this interview, listen to it through the spiritual eye and try to understand. Because the Bible said we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and all sorts, of, all sorts of spiritual wickedness in high places. And when it says high places, it doesn't necessarily mean people, money, and power. It means spiritual demons that you're not, it's demons that you're not aware of. I don't think we're aware of the craftiness and the satanic power that Satan will pull on us. But if you're not in the spirit of discerning, you're not going to see or understand any of this. So I, I want you to pray a moment uh, and ask God to help you to see the attacks and the, and, and the craftiness of Satan in this day and time. Okay, I'm ready, ladies. Let's okay, go. Okay, so I'm going to start with saying Romans 1, 3, and 2 says, They know God's justice requires that those who do these things deserve to die, mm -hmm. yet they do them anyway. Worse yet, they encourage others to do them too. Yes. You know, that scripture, I don't, people think I'm very cold, but... If, if you read the Bible, I don't know that story of the Malachites. Are you familiar with that story, Tony? You know, I'm, I'm a, I, lately, God's, for the last week, God's been dealing me about it. I don't know. I don't want to talk much on it. Mm -hmm. but I think God told the prophet to kill all the Malachites. I think maybe they were wicked or just mm -hmm. so corrupt. And even I think about the story of, of, of Noah, when Noah was saying, it's going to rain. Mm -hmm. Nobody it, was listening. It, they weren't listening. <laughs> it's going to rain. But at some point, Noah got in the ark. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said, God welded it shut. That's I it. said, God, why did you weld it shut? He said, Roman, because Noah would have got weak. I heard the cries and flooded, it opened and the ark opened it. and flooded the mm -hmm. ark. And at, everybody would have died. At some point, you need to get on in the ark. Right. And this is something people don't understand about the spirit of reprobation. Some folk that ain't going to be saved. Mm -hmm. And they're not saved. Mm -hmm. They don't want to be saved. In the back, when, when he said, for these kind are worthy of death, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. some people, they, that's, they, they on their way to death. That's right. Because the devil has took their mind off and they're too consumed with, with the things of this world. Mm -hmm. Noah was telling the people all the time, it's going to rain. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't until it rained. And then they said, oh. And listen. Start yeah, hollering and screaming. <laughs> ha it's, too ah! Don't leave it's too late. It's too late. <laughs> Same thing with Simon and Gamora. <laughs> God sent him down, okay, I want you to go down there and see. <laughs> Was there any righteous? One none right. Mm, right. None. So when I put that post up on YouTube saying no black preachers and no black gospel singers, mm -hmm. it's less preachers and gospel singers in the industry than it was in Solomon and Omar. Mm. Yeah. And it was, it's less preachers and gospel singers in the industry than it was when God destroyed the land in the day of Noah. Think about it. Mm -hmm. So you mean, I, I don't think none of them right. I don't, because see, anytime you know, Daisy, if you know, the, if I went and robbed the bank and shot these people, mm -hmm. and you know I did it, hello, yeah. and you know where I'm at, my face flashing all across the news. <laughs> I know him. 
Hello, hello. And you, <laughs> and, 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 know. you know I did it. That's mm -hmm. right. You know where I'm at. Mm -hmm. And they looking for me, and you, you say, uh, they come to you and say, Daisy Collins, I know you knew LaRon Baker. We saw you on YouTube with him. He claimed he a prophet. And his aunt Cassella Baker, George Josephine Baker, his cousin, and Daisy, you know, da, da, da. Oh, I don't know nothing about none of this. Mm. I don't know him. You're an assessor. I've never mm. seen him before. Right. <laughs> Who? Look, 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 me on YouTube. look, look, look. You're an accessory to the crime. That's right. That's true. That's right. You know this mess going mm. on. Right. But you going to stand there and sign with him anyway? Mm. You just right, is guilty. They need the money. They need the money. You just is guilty. Mm -hmm. And that's where God looking at it. Mm -hmm. If you go along with it, you just is guilty. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what he basically yeah. saying. And then then the part, the end part when he said, and you find pleasure in them that do it. Mm -hmm. In other words, you encouraging it. Right. Mm -hmm. You know they wicked, but you go go and invite. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. You go invite and sing with you anyway. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> we don't care what he say. We don't care what she does. Come on, right. put on, come on, come on, sing with us anyway. That's right. You know the truth. You go bag it anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where are we? All right. Well, you said Dunny McClurkin, Yolanda Adams, and Kirk Franklin are trying to pull the treats on you. The Abertina Walker and Shirley Caesar pulled out on your aunt. Cassette. Exactly. Mm -hmm. When they were in the caravans, and I need y'all to get in the spirit world because they, like the people said in the older days, there's nothing new under the sun. Right. Oh, there's nothing mm -hmm. new. That's true. Mm -hmm. Back in, because you know, on TV they're doing the reboots. they right. recapturing what right. happened in the old days. That's right. These, mm -hmm. these, these, nothing is new. These demons don't even know who they're dealing with. I'm, <laughs> I, 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 I was, I'm 20 years ahead of the game, mm -hmm. okay? My mm -hmm. aunt is one of the original caravans. Mm -hmm. I know what they did to her. Mm -hmm. You think I'm going to let you do it to me? Hold on, check this out. Now, she done wrote, 50, wrote and led 50 songs mm -hmm. up in the group, okay? Yeah. Now, they know Aunt Cassella behind that. You can see even when she left the care. You can see it. You got all the songs on YouTube, right. okay? Her name ain't coming out your mouth. Mm. Because they took it. Yeah, they, they, they trying to make it like it was them because, see, right. they want to outshine. Okay, mm -hmm. now, when she left the caravans, you can see on some of her soul albums, some of her body, she was doing her hands like this mm -hmm. and doing her hands like this, and she'll do this little wide smile on some of her. Shirley sees now Tina were copying the, the, mm. the photographs, doing the hairdos like her mm -hmm. and emulating her. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you know what made me really say do this interview is when y'all saw that picture I sent with Kurt Franklin did mm -hmm. or me. The black now then yeah. it looked just like my <laughs> the same. What you emulate me for, punk? You don't like mm -hmm. me. Did, see, see that I don't mind them record recording with her or appearing with her. I don't have mm -hmm. control of that. But what made me upset to attack this sissy fire punk was that when you touch my photograph, mm -hmm. you ain't finna emulate me. You don't like me, so why are you emulating my images? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not gonna let you do that. Okay? So this is the trick, the tricks that they did to my aunt, they think they can pull them on me. Mm -hmm. It ain't gonna happen. Okay? Okay. So you also said there are too many other female gospel singers in the industry. Why this big interest in Shirley Caesar? Thank you. Thank you. Tremaine Hawkins still living. Now, these artists, look, Tammy, these artists that been around, who ain't heard a change come over me? Mm -hmm. She's a legend. Mm -hmm. uh, who else I can think of been out there a long time? Myrna Summers. Mm -hmm. She's a gospel. I don't know if you heard of Myrna Summers. She's seen on Cloud today. Vanessa mm -hmm. Bell Armstrong. Mm -hmm. These yeah. are legendary women around a long yes. time. Now, I'm having problems at these three satanic hypocrites, Yolanda, Donnie, and, and Kirk Franklin. Okay, mm -hmm. check this out. Now, I wrote the book and exposed that big backstabby lesbian. Mm -hmm. Why y'all taking such an interest in her? Mm -hmm. if, if, I was not, if I wasn't spiritual man, I, if I wasn't spiritual man to see through the spirit that this is really about Laurent. Mm -hmm. But what he said, we're going to lift her up anyway. Right. Because mm -hmm. you jealous of me, because that's all it is. Because when they get through, ain't none of them, and that got the legacy I got. Why are you taking such an interest in keep lifting this backstab, vagina eating backstab, coochie licking legs? Because she ain't nothing but a backstab. Everybody knows she's a gay, a big old dyke. Why you keep lifting this hypocrite up? Except mm -hmm. you got some in your heart against me. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm stupid and carnal, I, I think, oh, well, you know, she's just, she, she just another artist on program. Mm -hmm. they always working with this one. Mm -hmm. Now, I've seen you work with these, but you're taking such a special interest in this hypocrite. You emulate my photographs. Hello? It's yeah. got to be personal. Yeah. Got to be. 
Next question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we talked a little bit about this. You said Kurt Franklin is constantly emulated your images yes. from your book cover, Mahogany Reflections. Yes. yes, it's one of my photographs where I was looking up at the sky. He think he's slick, he can't fool me. Because mm. cause when I first saw, when I saw the photograph, when I released a uh, Walk Around Heaven book in 2008, I watched, I've, I've been, see, they don't know, I've been watching them for, I've been watching this unfold for 11 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I knew it was coming, mm -hmm. <laughs> but Lord, I, it wasn't time for me to say nothing right. he emanated the photograph. Mm -hmm. See, you trying to strip me, ain't gonna happen, bring it on, brother. Mm -hmm. see, I, see, see, this is what, this is what I don't like. I want, you know, I want you to go on, you know, it's a song, Pat Benapart, Pat, Pat Benapart, what's his name, Pat Benatar? What's Pat Benatar? Hit me with your best shot. Oh, okay. See, you old <laughs> 65 punk. A real man going to do what he got to do. Mm -hmm. You Come on with it, baby. See, I'm sick of these little, you taking too many baby steps. A real man going to go and do what he got to do. You want, come on with it. I'm just, I'm just saying, why you, why you trying to sneak and do it? Right. Mm -hmm. You got something to say to me? Come on. Let me know when and where, baby. Let's do it. I'm not scared of you. See, he going to sit up there. See, I've been watching this unfold for 11 years. Mm -hmm. When I released the book, the whole industry know Ann Cassella was behind it. At first, they didn't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. They didn't know because she hid it so well. Mm -hmm. But when I released the book and exposed it, people started pulling out the records. Mm -hmm. Now, you got 50 caravan songs. She didn't roll it in, not just for her, but for Shirley C. Zabatina Walker, Josephine Howard, Dolores Washington, too. So you know at this point she behind it. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, so why are you constantly lifting this woman? Mm -hmm. Now, hold on. Now, he going to sit up in here. And one of my photographs, I put it on my CD cover for work till day is now I'm looking up at the sky. And that punk, Don, um, uh, not Donna McClurk, but Donna Lawrence, too, mm -hmm. little sissy, they up looking up, you know, he going to try to cover his neck up. And then Kurt Franklin trying to be slick with him, he going to look up and stretch his arms out. Like, oh, come on, sissy. You know, what you looking up? Eh? God ain't looking down on you. What you looking at? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just some little eminent punks. They get on my nerves, okay? Yeah. Next question. Okay, you said Yolanda <laughs> Adams ain't nothing. She's being influenced by lesbian Shirley Susan. Exactly. exactly. That's why she's running around using Aretha Franklin's song to stay alive. Thank you. Now the world is out of that. She's gay. Yeah, they put that. Now, see, I'm not. What, is I, out. what I'm about to say, y'all know me. I'm bold, right? Mm -hmm. Very bold. I'm not calling you a lesbian, Yolanda Adams. Because if I knew you was, I'd call that. But I'm not calling you one. But I'm going to say this, this is what they're saying about you, that she gay too. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because you're fooling with Shirley Cesar, but I got one of my cousins was in California. Mm -hmm. They was at the convention. They had the whole, see, see like I said in my other interview, I'd rather have a good name than great riches. Mm -hmm. She's a beautiful, she's a Virgo too, like two okay. Virgo. I got two Virgo women here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's, and I, 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 I'm going to tell you something. Babe, I don't want to believe, I don't want to believe, I don't want to believe. She is really a sexy woman, mm -hmm. beautiful voice, but you messing with the devil. That woman ain't no good. I'm telling you, she is Satan. Now, this is what they're saying about your line. I, I said, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to. I ain't asked God, is it true? Because I asked you to go tell me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to believe you doing this, baby. But one of my cousins told me that they were at a conference in California. And it was just. The top, they had, it was a big musical conference, mm -hmm. and she said the whole floor went, the whole, they had rent up the top floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Said Yolanda was up there with them. And I said, I said, I don't, I said, look, don't, I, I don't. It goes down. At the I don't detest you like yeah. I do, Kurt Franklin. <laughs> Hold on, I don't detest her like um, I do with Kurt Franklin and Donnie, because mm -hmm. see them, them little punks is hiding behind Jesus' name. The sold out sissies. I see this is all they are, little sissy five punks. But Yolanda, I'm here to tell you. You're never going to get the man God wants for you fooling with them sisters. And they ain't in the church. That's all in there. I do not want to believe that, that pretty girl is a lesbian. But this is what they saying. Now, I'm, you all know I ain't scared. But I'm not calling you one. But this is what they got out by her. Mm -hmm. Fooling with that backstabbing dyke Shirley Sees. Because she ain't nothing but a hypocrite. Now, see, this is what they saying about her. But I blame you. If, if this overtakes your reputation, it's because you messing with the devil. Mm-hmm. Next question. Okay. You said Donnie McClurkin is either sick with a disease disease in his body or still living a gay lifestyle. Exactly. The reason why I say that, Donnie, is because you ain't fooling me. Now, he's supposed to be engaged to this woman um, mm. for six years. 
See, punk, you ain't ready for me. <laughs> See, when, when your sister and you and that little punk, Kurt Franklin, came for LaRome, I'm ready. But they'll never do an interview on me because they know I'm, <laughs> I'm coming. I'm going to do one on you and I ain't taking it back. Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on. Go to Oprah. They didn't cut your little friend Steve Harvey down so you can't run to him for help. They'll run to TV One, uh, TV one mm -hmm. or the Breakfast Club. Bring it on. Now, hold on. Tammy, mm -hmm. just say we engage. Mm -hmm. I ain't the, waiting that long. Hold on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not waiting that what, long. What the Bible say? A man that found a wife, what? Found a good thing. A good thing. Mm -hmm. What you waiting on to marry this wife for six years? You ain't married her yet? He about 60. Six I, I, I think, would be not moved I think he's 50. Hold on. Who he fooled? You see what I'm saying? Who you fooled? He's right. 59 or 60. Ain't no way. What? what Six what? years? Mm -mm. Too I'd be old packed that. up and moved on somewhere else. <laughs> Who, see, I ain't got time too for that. Old. You know That's why? Because right. y'all ain't no stupid women. The Bible mm -hmm. says silly women laden with sin. Who you fooling? <laughs> you sick? Look, he's, I think he's 60 now. I'm finna be 60 or 61. <laughs> well, it could be just the front. He don't want nobody to know. You, you either a punk, which you are a <laughs> sissy, and, and I blame that stupid heifer. Okay, check mm. this out. You knew he was gay. He's giving her money. Ho hold she on. The cover up. Or he got, oh, I believe you really got some. I don't want to write out say it, but believe if I knew you had HIV, I'd announce because I don't like your punk mm. boy. Remember, you picked this fight. Bring it on. Bring it on. It's, it's a reason why he ain't married this girl. Mm -hmm. You engage this one now. If somebody somebody tell you me if he old. met now, if I'm if I'm wrong, I'm say okay, you married him. Mm -hmm. But I've been looking. I said okay, they got partner. When you mm -hmm. Google him and look, they say oh partner. Um, Partners are not married. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Which you which you partner with a woman? You sixty year old. Mm -hmm. You call yourself a pastor. The Bible's a man that find it said find a partner. Mm -hmm. It said a man that find a wife. Let the saints say amen. Find mm -hmm. what is if you got something in your body that you because you know if you sleep with that woman mm -hmm. and you got something in your body you can wipe the career already wiped out he, that man ain't recording nothing you you know you can it's it's over it's something you covering up brother if you got something in your body or your behind and I already know you still getting drilled up in your booty hole mm -hmm. you ain't fooling me so <laughs> it's up six years mm. wow but okay. Sam, you go, hold on, one more time. <laughs> you gonna stay engaged to me. Mm, that no, you, I wouldn't. I got a tale of rumors. Now, see, I blame her stupid tale. <laughs> I do, too. Hold on, hold on. I would be unpacked up and moved on. Mm -hmm. What, six years? Mm -mm. You go, to, no after way. a month of engagement, it's okay, baby, let's, when we gonna make the range? That's right. Hello? That's right. Especially at that age. Yeah, because you could be dead. And you know, already got a tale of rumors that you gay. Mm. What you waiting on? So to me, you were willing to keep, just go and kill the suspicion. People saying it anyway, okay, it's something he had in here. Ain't nobody crazy. I'm going to bring it on out. Next question. Okay, you said Donnie posted a video <coughs> in July asking people to stop exposing the truth about the gospel music industry. What is that all about? Yeah, I don't know, Tom, about this way he's saying. Tammy, look at mm -hmm. Tony. Well, you know, we supposed to cover each other's sins. The mm -hmm. Lord said pray. You need to cover what? Cover sins. So, yeah, Tom, mm. we supposed to cover each other up and we supposed to protect each other's reputation. He started naming. I don't want y'all talking about Kim and and, and, and and I don't want you talking about this person. I said, hypocrite, I just know you ain't talking about covering nothing. <laughs> <laughs> See, he mm. telling you right there what he doing. Yeah. You go, since when the Bible said cover? Mm. It said That's repent. Mm -hmm. If by people which you call by my name, well, humble themselves and pray and seek my face. And what? Turn from your mess. It didn't say cover. Turn from your wicked ways. Yeah. Then what? I'll heal the land. Yeah. God tell you to cover nothing up. Next question. <laughs> All right. You said, I would love to know what Shirley Caesar could be saying to them when you can see 50 original songs Aunt Cassetta wrote and led and Shirley cutting her name out. Thank you. At, at, at this point, I done made myself clear. Ain't nothing she can be saying to y'all, because y'all ain't, my mama had old, I don't know if you heard the word, because you from Memphis. Mm -hmm. Remember the word cahoots? Oh, yeah. You what, cahoots what cahoots mean? In a group. Thank of you. You you in cahoots right. with her. Mm -hmm. At this point, you got to be. Mm -hmm. You seeing all of them? Now, see, at first when it came out, like I said, I believe they doubted it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now, the book been out 11 years. 11 years. Wow. They was cut me down left and right. What's the title of that Miss book? Miss Walk Around Heaven All Day, The Untold Story, Cassetta Baker George. Okay, that's what we're talking okay. about. Okay, so, so at this point, 
You know the truth. Mm -hmm. She ain't got to say nothing to you. You know exactly what you're doing. Right. You ain't going to hold sweater. <laughs> mm -hmm. The Bible said, how can they walk together except they what? Agree. Mm -hmm. Next question. <laughs> well, you just said, you know, about them being the mess together. Do you feel the, the root of the jealousy is aimed at you because of your timeless family yes. legacy? Yes, jealousy, jealousy. And, and, and this, you know, I, you know, my friend in Washington, she helped me edit Miss Walk Around Heaven All Day, and mm -hmm. then she helped me edit um, Milhogan Reflections. Okay. And I asked God, and I, I say this, I make this boast in God, because I asked God to totally blind me to the fame of who I am. And I'm about in denial, mm -hmm. but I ask, ask the God, I don't want to know that. Because anything that I do, anything that I may be, and I, 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 I give him all the honor. Mm -hmm. And I mean that from my heart. It's not Lerone. It's not Lerone speaking, y'all. I'm trying to op open your eyes to the devil mm -hmm. and satanic power that God is, that, that yes. the devil is pulling, you know. Mm -hmm. but. It ain't none of them people in that in the black church. I don't think it's none that ever existed. Got the family legacy. I got. I got mm -hmm. too many legends. It, who don't? The name Josephine Baker completely lapsed the whole black gospel music industry a hundred times over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna keep it real. Mm -hmm. Who don't know Josephine Baker? That was the, my cousin was once the richest black woman that ever lived. Mm. Yeah. She she Beautiful. did she marched and and fought for civil rights before Martin Luther King was even born. Mm. She was born in 1906. She's a mortal god, and it's just the gospel truth. Okay, my uncle, my, my grandfather pastored three churches. He was born in 1899 and died in 1981. Mm -hmm. This is my uncle father. Mm -hmm. My uncle is a pioneer. Stop them from coming back here now. My aunt Cassetta is a pioneer in the gospel music industry. And um, she cut, she started her career back in 1946 mm -hmm. with the Songbirds of the South. Mm -hmm. Okay? And she was the first one to bring mu gospel music to the radio mm. in 1946. Mm -hmm. wow. uh, then she left in 1946 and joined the caravans in 1953 through Reverend James Cleveland. Mm. Okay, she cut 10 caravan albums. She mm -hmm. went solo in 1965 and mm -hmm. cut uh, 16 solo albums. Mm. Wow. Then she did five duet albums. She mm -hmm. got two Grammy Award nominations and she cut, wrote 112 original songs. She's a pioneer. It wouldn't be no gospel music. If it wasn't. If it wasn't, my aunt is one of the, when, when it wasn't nothing but dirt, mm -hmm. <laughs> she paid, y'all know she paved it out. Sure, as he's one in that group for Anchor of the Woods. Mm. Jealousy. And I don't say this to be acting like I'm above you, but my friend Cassandra helped me see Celeron. You cannot walk around here being in denial mm -hmm. yeah. of what God is giving you, what's really going on, because mm -hmm. they will strip you. Because mm -hmm. you're thinking you're one of them. Right. Mm. So the treatment. You ain't treat me no way because I've been telling them for years, don't tag yourself to me. Mm -hmm. And I go on YouTube every day, cameraman. <laughs> I'm seeing these little sissies video. I don't know these punks and these little hypocrites popping up on the right side. You know when you click your videos mm -hmm. on YouTube, mm -hmm. you got videos popping up You're on right. the right side. The last thing I, I told, I've been telling them people 10 years, don't tag yourself to me. And here they are still linking themselves to me. I don't have nothing to do with y'all. I don't need you for anything. So what I'm trying to say to y'all, basically, yes, yeah, jealousy. Mm -hmm. And you, and one thing I'm saying, anybody that's viewing this, never be afraid to call out what it really is. Mm -hmm. You ain't being cocky. You might have a, be working on your job, Tam. You got some backstabbing women right. trying to get mm -hmm. your position, yeah. Daisy. Mm -hmm. What is what is it? Why you ain't doing nothing? You looking right. good. You minding your business. Right. You got a nice car. You ain't begging nobody for that's none. Right. Mm -hmm. And they, they looking wretched. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. they, you know, they, at lunch, they ain't got no money. Mm -hmm. They pinching out people's sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Hello? They, 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 every time you see them come to work, they, they got their, what, they call it, rat, what, they're carpooling. Yeah. You, car, you, you, ride, you riding on people. 
You ride trying to ride on me. I ain't riding on y'all. I don't come to none y'all have. What you tag yourself to me for? You, you, you people will never be me. So what I'm trying to say to you, what, what I'm really, really trying to say to you, mm -hmm. never be afraid to, to, to walk in what God has given right. you. That's right. That's right. It ain't that you being nasty. Mm -hmm. You ain't being cocky. Mm -hmm. I, thank God, I thank God for every, and walk in it with pride mm -hmm. and hold your head up. Yeah, you jealous. And when you get through being jealous, you just going to be looking stupid because you ain't pulling nothing up in here. Next question. All right. <laughs> You said the gospel music industry knows I'm telling the truth, but they're so dependent on each other yes. to survive. You know what? I, I had forgot. I, <laughs> I mentioned that time, but guess what today? I was, every morning I get up, you know, I told you, I, get, I, got, I got me a coffee, y'all, a coffee maker. I just started okay. getting coffee. Uh -oh. <laughs> He's saying Mr. Coffee. <laughs> I went and I felt that. Every morning about 5, 4, 35, I get up real quick. I told you this. Mm -hmm. I make my coffee. And I give scrambled eggs with cheese. I put some little bacon bits in. Don't y'all go copy off me. Bacon bits. <laughs> copy. <laughs> so I copy cats. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I get. Hold on, y'all. Oh, I get some coffee. Exactly. And I have one of my TVs in the living room. In my bedroom is a 32 inch. So I click it on. <laughs> I get in the bed and I have my scrambled eggs with cheese and my coffee. And um, I'll sit there and I go through my emails. Mm -hmm. I go. I got eight. Facebook accounts. Mm. Seven of them are maxed out, so I had to keep opening them up. Mm -hmm. And, and wow. Sacred Scrolls has almost 3,000 on it. Mm -hmm. I got two more thousand and twenty to add out. It'd be maxed out. I'm not opening up no more accounts on Facebook, so I spend a lot of time talking to my friends who, you know, they, you know, they be asking me things, mm -hmm. so I have to spend time with mm -hmm. them. So I usually don't log out to about seven, 11 o'clock, but anyway, I, from 5 to 11, this was about six hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talking to my friends and stuff. But I, um, I almost forgot the question. <laughs> so I so I spend time with them. Run it by me again. I'm okay. sorry. You said the gospel. Oh, here it, I got you. I got I know. I'm <laughs> check, I'm so what happened was this morning when I got through checking my Facebook accounts and my emails, I always go to YouTube and check my email account. My, mm -hmm. uh, I have four YouTube accounts. Okay. I went to log in and one of my accounts and I logged out. I saw a video promotion mm -hmm. of a gospel concert. I started laughing. This is how pathetic they are. You people ain't fooling nobody. Okay, guess what? I always throw down a Ross in y'all face, and I'm going to put a video up on her and Mary Wilson because y'all, I don't want y'all reaching for my woman. Don't go near down the Ross. <laughs> y'all can have Patty Bill because she knows some trash just like y'all. <laughs> but hold on. I, I looked at the video. Guess what, Tony? Guess what? You got 10, I think close to 10 female gospel singers on one program. Mm. Ain't wow. that a pathetic shame? Mm. Ten. Ten. Wow. Packed on one pro one. Who goes sit through all that mess? That's a lot. That's too many. When that this now see when you really are star and show you how 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 pathetic y'all really are. How how pitiful y'all you pitiful. You couldn't put me on the program with no ten people. <laughs> Half of them going to walk out if you're the last one. You got 10 female artists. I said about 8 or 9, 10. The picture had all their little pictures on mm -hmm. it. They just grinning. <laughs> Probably ain't getting $200 a piece. Mm. <laughs> and I believe the bill may not hold. I, I, I want to look up where it's going to be. I bet you ain't a seating capacity of 5000 And guess what? I bet the tickets ain't 10 or $15. Guess what? It still ain't going to be full. Because God ain't with you hypocrites. Mm. Women up there with the breasts out. Go, female guys to weave down mm -hmm. their back, stretch marks on your thighs you showing, <laughs> and somehow he'll sing about Jesus. You mm -hmm. people are some hip old crits. You fooling yourself. Move on. I want to say that because <laughs> when you said what you said, mm -hmm. I thought of that, that, that clip. Of, who go sit there and hear 10 women quote mm -hmm. gospel singers? And one of the gospel singers, I heard she got some in that bastard kids out of marriage. She just dropped bastard kid after bastard kid. Mm -hmm. And y'all got this nasty woman on program. <laughs> that's, how, that's how disgusting they are, Thomas and Jesus. Go ahead on. <laughs> okay. You said Tonex got up on the TV One unsung saying Caesar, Shirley Caesar was the Beyonce of the Caravans. Yeah, he going to get up. Mm. He didn't change his name by 20 times. That's one of the Kirk Franklin little friends. Uh, he going to get up time by, in the unsung Shirley Caesar unsung. She's the... Beyonce of the Caravans. Mm. Sure, she's, I, I'm so tired of telling y'all. Y'all, they know this in a way, but they, 
in their mind is true. <laughs> that, that, that backstab Lisbon came in that group in 1958. She was the last caravan to come in that group. Aunt Casella got there in 53. Mm -hmm. Aunt Casella wrote and led 50 songs in that group. Mm -hmm. When Dad Ross left the Supremes in 1970, mm -hmm. they disbanded. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now they yeah. didn't disband, hold on. They disbanded in 1970. They went on to 1977. Mm -hmm. um, Gene Terrell replaced Diana Ross and they went on mm -hmm. seven years, okay? Mm -hmm. When Ed Cassetta left the caravans in 1965, that backstabby Dyke Shirley Caesar left in 1966. The group started going down. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because the hits went behind Ed Cassetta. Mm -hmm. She was doing everything. Right. You mm -hmm. hypocrites know this. So how this little old sister go get up on, on, on song? Telling these people she was the Beyonce of the caravans. Mm -hmm. what, what, the, what, the, what the dyke do in there? She didn't do nothing. She was the last one come up in the group. Everybody know it. I mean, you look like a fool, sissy. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You said it's because Yolanda Adams, Dunny, Dunny, Kirk, and today's gospel singers that Shirley Caesar won't repent. Exactly. Because y'all keep promoting her. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. If y'all had enough God in y'all, normal child, I wonder if, hold on, I wonder if any of them have ever sat her down. And, it, it, you know, and I think they think I'm walking in unforgiveness. I, I've sensed in the spirit world, but she, done, she ain't gay no more. Now, you may not be dyking now, but don't act like you weren't, because she was. Mm. And I believe, you, I, I, I still, but you're still cunning and crafty. <laughs> you're still lying. This is what I'm saying. I wonder, now I ain't going to say one, I know for a fact they have sat down and talked to her. And she probably cried and, oh, I let it go. Oh, we love you. You know, you know, he holding on to that. His aunt gone. He better. It's, you know, they're trying mm -hmm. to put it on me. Right. But, but that ain't what it is. What can she say to you when you got 50 songs spread in your face? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That you go keep pushing this woman. Mm. And, and, and it ain't about me holding anything. It's, it's the fact that she, she ain't trying to, and, and let me tell you how I know she, I've been calling her reprobated for years. Y'all say, oh, that's a bit extreme. Okay, when the song came out, she tried to put herself above them again. Mm. They told it like, she goes, oh, going back to her um, whole, uh, hometown. She twisted it up. She was cutting Anka Sutter out again. She went in like who she named, then bring Anka Sutter name up. Mm -hmm. Right. So, mm. what, where's the change? Wow. No change. The Un song came out last year, I think it was. Mm. Now, I put the book out in 2008, mm -hmm. right? You, you pulled this again just a year ago, mm -hmm. but you changed. Y'all know this. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where's the change? No change. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you said at this point in their lives, it's about them thinking they can overthrow you. They can't. I've already covered that. You can't, you can't take me down. They you know, want to, though. They can't, Days. <laughs> they ain't. You, well, y'all yeah, know, see, that's what I'm saying. I'm aware of this. Because the, people don't understand that this is what my Uncle Seller didn't do. Yeah. She should have stood the ground. Mm -hmm. When she left the caravan, she, first of all, she should, the first time she left, and I said this in the, one of my other interviews, she left in, Hunt James Cleveland left in 58. She went back up in there. She shouldn't have went back. She mm -hmm. should have just kept her songs. Right. And just done her own thing. Waited. You know what? She, there, she felt like they were her friends. She wanted to help them. That's exactly what I was and just so going to say. She went back and she tried to help them more. And mm -hmm. I, and that's exactly how they got mm -hmm. her. She saw them, saw she them saw like them sisters. Right. Yeah, because she they said, you know what? They I, got started in the forties. Mm -hmm. Saw Robert Downey. She joined in '53. Mm -hmm. They are pirating. They going across the country. Right. They mm -hmm. see. She think, oh, we sisters, we right, struggling right, together. Oh, right. it don't matter. Right. But see, when she left the group, things went down. So mm -hmm. I guess the bitterness, they mm -hmm. already was jealous of it. She couldn't see it. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then they start emulating. See, these were signs of her. Now they're emulating your. F you left because Shirley Caesar went to Alpatina Walker and told Alpatina Walker, why don't you just let Cassetta write for the group and let me lead all the songs? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she went to Mahaley Jackson. Mahaley Jackson, go and lead the group. And she left and it went down. See, you should have saw then it didn't mean you know good. Mm -hmm. So then you go so she was, she was she, thinking, you know, it's 
the sheikah maybe help them. No, they you, you can't help these things. I know, but she didn't. She was. Oh, but I do. I know, but she was looking at it differently. Like, See, you know what? These are my friends. This why they mad because they can't do to me what they did to Ecosel. Mm -hmm. They ain't happening. Right. You say, I see your butt. Okay, mm -hmm. hold on. She thinking in their mind these are friends. Right. Okay, now you the first caravan go sold. She's the first caravan that got a Grammy nomination, 69. Mm -hmm. Oh, happy they won over her. The same year. But guess what? Mm -hmm. you, all of a sudden now, you got to see them doing your body poses on the photographs, Kirk Franklin. You, mm -hmm. you got to see them doing their hands and the wide smiles on your album. Mm -hmm. You thinking these women your friend? Mm -hmm. Well, she was overlooking that. Yeah, she, but see, she should have said something then. Mm -hmm. Right. Which somebody, somebody said to me, LaRon, well, you know, that's the way it was. But I said, that's a lie because Rosa Parks said, hey, I ain't moving. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> when Rosa Parks was on Call that. Call the police. What year, what year was there, what, what, what year was there with Rosa Parks <laughs> on the bus? <laughs> I think it was, was in the 60s. 60 what? Two, three, four, five? Yeah, I can't, I can't mm -hmm. remember. Rosa Parks. <laughs> I want that. I can make fun. Mm -hmm. She said, I think they had a picture of her. She wasn't smiling. I think they got, I, mean, I ain't she going was nowhere. I'm tired. I've been working all day. I'm not Thank going you. to the back. She should have put her foot down. Mm -hmm. She was the most powerful caravan. Then she should have sued them little backstab at Bush Dykes and went on about her bed. <laughs> okay? Bring it on, punks. Bring it on, sissies. Bring it on. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> okay. You said they fear I will outshine them yes. if I start recording. Thank you. Tammy. Tammy. Come on. Let's be realistic. Josephine, back of my cousin, my grandfather passed the three churches. Mm -hmm. Okay? Bakers. Mm -hmm. Mom is the pi one of the pioneers. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Malico Record, it probably Motown Records, probably the major gospel. You think if they don't sign me, I'm going to take that in the stroke? Let's be realistic. Mm. My name alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just going to keep it real. <laughs> I come James Cleveland's caravan. Mm -hmm. Who don't know James? He's King Gospel. Mm -hmm. Miss Mary, don't you weep out this Andrews's caravan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How you how you give me a fan. How you <laughs> <laughs> Let me see there. How you gonna touch me? I wanna see. I wanna give me my paper back. I, no, I know what this is. I ain't even think look, Daisy. The, that, hey, Tim, I ain't mm -hmm. trying to record a record. They just panicking. <laughs> Went to the Stella. Hold on. Be afraid. Hold on. Went to Don't the be afraid. I told you, Tim. I told you told they. Went mm -hmm. to the Stella Wars. Kind of just, I was, they were telling me they was all on me. Just, oh, oh. at that white fox car. I told you about uh -huh. that. Honey, I was over some friends' houses. Mm -hmm. We was just eating. They mm -hmm. said, Mom, I said, I went to the Stella Wars. You know, you could see they done cut me all out. Oh, wow. <laughs> they was panicking. Now I'm just in, I'm not performing, I'm just in the audience. Mm -hmm. You that intimidated by mm. me that I'm just sitting in the audience? Mm. You can imagine if a record come out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Need a fan. No. Okay. I'm all right. <laughs> no, fan, fan, fan the camera tell. Wait, 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 they hot. They just upset. <laughs> That's question. <laughs> That's hypocrites. <laughs> Okay, you said church people are sick and I'm not sick and I'm not their doctor. Amen. I'm not your doctor because the hot, the, 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 really the church is a hospital. If you, most people that really go to church got problems. Mm -hmm. I would know a reason why. No. I, you guess what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, because churches are not like they used mm -mm. to be. Everybody in there's a hypocrite. Yeah, you know, you know the reason why I really started going to church. I was sapping, and my mother and father were having marital problems. Mm -hmm. It wasn't because my grandfather was a minister or my aunt was a singer. Mm -hmm. It was because my mother and father had marital problems and my mother took me to church. Mm -hmm. And my pastor was preaching the holiness of hell. And he was telling, I wrote this about me all in reflections. He was talk, talk, telling us about right and wrong and the sins of the mm -hmm. world. So I felt I was on my way to hell. Mm -hmm. I was sleeping around. I was mm -hmm. having sex. I didn't know nothing. I still haven't smoked a joint. I'm telling you, I don't even know how to roll a joint. Mm -hmm. I don't know nothing about snorting cocaine or nothing. You know, a lot of y'all got these sad stories. I don't have them stories. Mm -hmm. You ran to church to get delivered from something. I didn't. I'm not making, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just keeping it real with you. I didn't go to church because I had a sickness mm -hmm. right. or a problem. I went because my mother and father were fighting. My mama went to church to find God and she backslid. Mm -hmm. By the time she was backsliding, whatever I had got say. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I stayed in and God called me to the ministry. I know mm -hmm. he chose me to do what I do, but I don't even preach. No, I preached in about 10 years. Mm -hmm. I, I Y'all thought I was kidding, but there's so much power of prophecy in me that I can turn that industry around, but I'm not going to help you. I don't have to. Yeah. 
I don't have, see, God gives you choice. Okay. And he's not going to curse me. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to help you. See, I understand why you're emulating me. It ain't because, it ain't because, it's not only jealousy, they need something. Right. I know what it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. And maybe I'm being evil or, or, or cold, which I probably am. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, but you know what? I'm not going to help you. So I guess they figure, okay, we're going to take it from him. Right. Bring it on and try. You ain't taking nothing from me. Mm -hmm. So I know, I know what the attaching is. Mm -hmm. you, you're attaching yourself to me because you're not going to attach yourself to something that ain't nothing. Right. You ever walk down the street and see, cow, see doo doo on the ground from a dog? Mm -hmm. You say, ooh, and just walk on back. Mm -hmm. you say, do you go, hold on, do you go home and tell somebody who I saw doo doo mm -hmm. on the ground? Mm -hmm. You don't even bring it up, do you? No. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, if I ain't about nothing, why are you, why are you attaching your, why are your videos, you so iconic and big so you want people to think, because you don't mean doo-doo to me. Why are you, why are you, why are your videos constantly popping up on the right side of my videos? Right, and they because, shouldn't be. Thank you. I don't preach no more. And I ain't back slid, I front slid. I'm open, my eyes are more open now mm -hmm. than it's ever been. And I'm not going to help you. And guess what? You know what? You're, you ain't going to surely die, you dead. Mm. You already dead because, see, if you had any truth in you, any life in you, you will leave me alone. See, this boy don't like us. He don't want to have nothing to do with us. Mm -hmm. He crazy. Y'all said I was crazy. Okay, I'm crazy. Leave crazy alone. Now, who crazy for me? Who, Tony, if you see a crazy person, somebody say he crazy, are you going to mess with a crazy person? No. If you mess with a crazy person, who crazy? Both of you, you crazy. Yep. If, I'm messing with, if I'm so crazy, get away around crazy. Mm -hmm. That's right. See, it, 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 it ain't no other reason that I don't like you hypocrites. I don't think you save. The church is one big mental institution, homonging institution, drug addict institution. Mm -hmm. And them preachers that preach to y'all, they came out of the same thing you doing. This means they got sympathy for you. Mm -hmm. And I don't have none for you. So get over there with them and let them doctor you and get your wicked black ass essence from way around me. All Next right. question. Okay, you said the black church is highly upset with you because you want to turn over your power Thank to them? Thank I just said it. Mm -hmm. All the attaching and the emulating of the photo. What you emulate my photographs for? Hello? Yeah. Like, I'm not ashamed I love Diana Ross. Uh, one of my from the from the original album I just got to talk about. Mm -hmm. You saw it. I got the picture. I'm looking just like her on the side. Mm -hmm. But I give her credit for it. Mm -hmm. She's my inspiration. Yeah. I remember right high around. school. Right around. Mm -hmm. Tell me did it. High school photo albums full of Diana Ross. Mm -hmm. Tell me what school man. Tell them, Tammy, I was crazy. Everybody <laughs> know me, said boy crazy. This yes. I was what? Mm -hmm. Seventh to eighteen then mm -hmm. what? Tell the truth. Yes. I've always loved Diana Ross. <laughs> See, if you really, really, really meant me some good, yeah. you, you, you could say, you know, Lerone Baker's been an inspiration to me. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't emulate me mm -hmm. and try to steal it and clothe it in you. Mm -hmm. Right. Right or wrong? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm going to pretend how much I love Barbara Hale and Peggy Fair and Diana Ross. Yeah. I got Diana Ross on my page with, with my auntie them because she's my inspiration. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't emulate my photograph. You really loved me. And want to be part of the of the guy. It ain't that you're gay or that you're a lesbian because I'm not gonna sleep with none of y'all. It's the fact that you you the way you're trying to do this is not of God. Mm -hmm. I just found that Kurt Franklin uh, MC signed the best. Mm. I didn't know, but you know how I found out? Cause this girl, I think her name is Leandra. You know the girl, uh -huh, Leandra. Yeah. The, I, I never heard of this child mm -hmm. before. All of a sudden, I know it's probably him or her. Her video popping up on the right side mm -hmm. of my videos. Mm -hmm. I said, Wait a minute, where is, who is this hell for popping up, up under my thing? If see he oversigned the best. If mm -hmm. you now you obviously, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Let me calm down some. Yeah, because you're getting hyper. I'm I'm cool. Mm -hmm. Shut okay. up. Okay. <laughs> this is what this is what <laughs> <laughs> this is it's not it go and what I'm about to say is quite disgusting, but Y'all know I'm prophetic because a lot of stuff I told you that came true. Y'all don't want to accept it. But it's some lust there too, and it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Because ain't no real man, not no real man that want a woman, go emulate a man that much. Because see, I can't believe at one shot you like this, you just mm -hmm. got that picture like that. Because when I I, I stop when I typed on, on um Google him. I don't know number one song this boy sang, which is Stomp. And I heard that some years ago 
in the car with a friend of mine when I was in Florida. I don't know nothing else you seen. I don't know number one song Don McClurk can sing, which is um, what he is for me. I think that's mm -hmm. it. And I think that's one of his songs, but I don't agree with it because he said something about um, you go get what you go get from God, whatever you're saying. But my point is this. It's something wrong with Kirk Franklin because ain't no real man that got a woman. Got no bitch paying this much attention to a man. To another man. Am I right, Tony? You got a wife, right? Right or wrong? <laughs> you got some homeboys. I mean, you got some. I mean, good guy friends that you watch football and football and basketball with. You get some real straight guys together mm -hmm. with their homeboys who watching the football game, drinking beer. At a certain point, I get home, my woman. Mm -hmm. Ain't no real man. Go be this obsessed with another man's world. That this woman then recorded with, the matter of fact, the woman had a sexual relationship with my dad at Sheryl Season. My dad was screwing this woman before she started messing with women. Yeah. He know I'm telling the truth, mm. but he's spending so much time trying to undermine me to the point to now you trying to emulate my photographs. There's something wrong with you because ain't no, I swear I know he gay because ain't no real man go care what no another man do. Right. They ain't gonna care. No, they're too busy looking at women. <laughs> Next question. Okay. You said you got to be strong in your faith when dealing with spiritual warfare. You do. Because people will make it look like you're out of the, out of the order of God. True. When you are wrestling, uh, the, the Bible said, the road is now and very few shall find it. And it said one scripture, and I, I haven't, there are two interpretations of it. It says um, it's easy for a camel to go through the eye of, eye of a needle. That's right. Mm -hmm. Down for a rich man and into the kingdom of heaven. That's I, right. And, I did, and, I, and somebody said that it meant the needle that you sew it. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. one. Which, what's the other definition I'm of it? I'm thinking it's not the needle you sew with. I'm thinking it's just like a, a pathway. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like a pathway. It's mm -hmm. easier for that camel to go down that pathway opposed to a rich man to go down that path. Mm -hmm. One reason is because a rich man think he can do whatever he wants Wanna to do, do mm -hmm. and he don't have to go by any rules mm -hmm. or regulations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I don't understand. Uh, run the question by me again. Give it to me again. Okay, you Come said... Come get revelation on again. You got to be strong in your faith exactly. when dealing with spiritual warfare. You do. Because people would make it look like you're see, out of the order of God. See, it was... Thank you. I had to hear it again mm -hmm. because that's the first part about the camel knee. But the second part, this is what God brought to me to say. When I first started speaking out, mm -hmm. because that, you know, they didn't make me feel like I was lying because yeah. I was telling the truth. Mm -hmm. But don't you know, it took some years for the manifestation. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The attacks were so strong. Oh, he jealous. Mm -hmm. He's undead. He lying. He mm -hmm. jealous. All kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. They're not saying anything now. Mm -hmm. They're not saying nothing. When I put stuff up there, you don't see no comments on it. They just looking. Because there ain't nothing for you to say behind me, but amen. Because mm -hmm. they know I ain't lying. Mm -hmm. People know I'm not a liar. So what I'm trying to say to you is that when you're fighting, it's going to be some times when ain't nobody going to stand with you. You're going to be standing. That's I right. think there are a lot of times back in the olden days, the preachers say you're going to be standing alone. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this so long days, I, I, I feel uncomfortable when people with me. Yeah. I think you're working with the devil. I'm like, well, when you being all this time, you're showing up. Because mm -hmm. I've been fighting. I, I feel very uneasy. I don't need no help. Mm -hmm. I remember Wonder Woman Mama sent her out to the outer world, and she gave her that tiara and them bracelets and the, and the belt, which is the source of her power from paradise, and that magic lasso, and she, she had them in her hand, she turned around. And she said, remember, in the outside world, without these things I've given you, you're just an ordinary woman with no special powers. And she said, I remember. And then I remember one time when she was going through a crisis, and um, she, people don't know that the T.I. The was symbolic of prayer. She could get mm -hmm. in a mirror and summon her mother. And she was going through something, and her mother said, when you see the heart of darkness, then you begin to perceive the light. She said, I don't understand. She said, but in time you will. Yeah. But see, you never see Wonder Woman calling on no help because mm -mm. she knew what to do. Right. 
when you get when you get along with God, mm -hmm. God to put okay, this is what you need to do. Oh, yeah. How many how, how many how many fights y'all seen a loss? Not one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, yeah. you ain't. Have, have, they, they pulled kryptonite on Superman. <laughs> he still found a way out. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you yield your life to God, mm -hmm. the, the you can't. You ain't go. You can't. I say this. I'm bring it on. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bring it on. I'm. T I'm tired. You know what? You know what really make me mad? The games. You playing a game, mm -hmm. right? What you gonna do? Yeah. What you gonna do? You you know you in the you in the, you we in the boxing ring. You just keep dancing. You know <laughs> you gonna throw the blow or what? You know what I'm saying? And you gonna hit me? What what what? Pat being about to say? Hit me with your best, best shot. shot. Right. Why, why why you keep playing the games? Right. If you're gone about your business, or gone take me out of here. Right. I mean for real. Yeah. Am I am I am I am I being too strong? No, you're fine. Why, why you keep playing these old faggoty sissy games? Because I'm I'm not no sissy. I might have some feminine traits. And that sounds very graphic, but ain't no man never penetrate me in my bag. Ain't gonna happen. I ain't no sissy. That's why I, it ain't that you punks are gay, it's just that you sissies. You don't like me? Take me out of here. Do what you gonna do. But she's gone with these games, because I don't play games. Next question. Okay, you said um, that they, they envy you. They don't envy you. Wait a minute. You said that you don't envy, they don't envy none of them. I don't envy none envy of them. None, none mm -mm, of them. None of them. But you, true, but you truly just want them to leave you. I just and said it. Legacy and leave me alone. alone. See, I'm not trying, see, this is what I'm saying. I want you, and see, you know, I want to go head on. And, I, and, and I'm not saying this out of, I've been saying, you know what? Best thing I know. This mean I know they really need some psychology counseling because they don't even think. When I do these interviews, they scatter mm -hmm. and they have to regroup again and think of something else, you know. But I cannot stress this: enough. it's something wrong with you when a person, for example, days and me and you got a divorce. Mm -hmm. You've been split up five years. You claim, you know, it's over. Right. I didn't gave you the money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hello. Y'all didn't gave you the money. You done took me to court and stripped me down now. We got all the money. Days have moved on with our life. She got another man. I ain't told her I kept the key to the house. One day, one day she come home. I got an apron on, Tony. I didn't cook dinner. Hello. You see what I'm saying? I found her husband out of town for a weekend on a business trip. She come home, I had threw, I threw flowers all on the bed waiting on her. She, Hello? She going to come out. What the, hell? what the hell is you doing? I done told you over and over again. It's over. I done sued you. Right. I, you I, what's wrong with you, fool? <laughs> what you call the police on me? Yeah. What you doing up in my house? And so, how did you get in here? Look, thank you. <laughs> Something is wrong with you when you can't move on. Right. You got to move on. Mm -hmm. Y'all so much, 20, 20 women on the program. <laughs> Who mm. you fooling? When Darren Ross got one person, building a whole 20,000 tickets sold out. Mm -hmm. And folks fighting to get a ticket. Right. Who you fooling? They called me on Pat LaBelle because I can't stand her thinking she got power. That woman ain't spit to Darren Ross. Darren Ross broke, broke barriers for black people. Let me tell y'all stupid people something. My cousin Josephine Baker, Lena Horn. Aretha Franklin, Diana Ross, and probably Beyonce now are the five most iconic black women in that whole industry that yeah. ever existed. Mm -hmm. Pat LaBelle ain't nothing but a, she going the gospel because she, her R&B career over with. That's what they do. They do the R&B. Then when they flop, they run to the <laughs> church. So they're thinking that them recording, not recording with, because ain't nobody go record that trash. And if she recorded, it ain't going to sell. Bleach and I have blonde. Y'all thinking getting with her because I don't like her. See, trying to recruit people that I don't like mm. to be on that stuff. That's how weak mm -hmm. y'all are. I ain't called on, I, I, as much as I love Dara Ross, I ain't called Esther for nothing. Because mm -mm. I can handle y'all myself. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> you said the thing about jealous is when you compare yourself to other people, what you I will never say. be happy. Thank you. Why, why are you mm. constantly comparing yourself to the next person. I don't even know y'all got because I know you ain't got you know you ain't got it the right way. That's right. Now what 
The Bible said, even not the wicked. Yeah. Nothing you got, I won't. I want you to, I've been telling, what I always say, they help, me, help me out, girls. Me look at the camera, put your hand on. <laughs> Repeat after me. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on. Leave Tony, say, me Tony, me Tony say it with me, Tony. Leave, Leave me alone. alone. Again. Leave me alone. Put your hands on like Spring said, stop. <laughs> Says, stop. Leave. Stop. Stop. He said, Leave, Leave me alone. alone. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Move on. <laughs> yeah, but Chris, mm -hmm. where oh, we at? Okay, you said I have close to 70 original songs I do. that would turn that gospel music industry around, around mm -hmm. for God. I do. But I will take them to my grave well, I before I impart them into a bunch of hypocrites. I got 70s, Tammy. I was writing them songs back when I was in high school. I got them all in a folder in my apartment. Now, Lerone, what if I want to hear some of them? Well, you know, i probably let you guys hear it. And, you but know. I, what if I want you to, you know. Tammy, shut up. <laughs> 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 we'll do that after the chat, okay? <laughs> anyway, I, 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 and I want to take my time to explain this to y'all. You know, I have s close to 70 original songs. Mm. I know God gave them to me. Yeah. But it was a time when I dreamed. I dream, I have dreamed, I said, ooh, maybe I'll be on the album cover, because back then they had LPs. Mm -hmm. Right. And one of my aunt's most glamorous LPs was the legend album. She had the, the mink coat, and she riding on the car in the back. I, I, I said, oh, maybe I'll be on the cover of her album, but they don't even realize I could have been there. Mm -hmm. I probably, out of all the bashing and cutting y'all down, somebody record me. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, because everybody, because every, let me tell you something. You'd be surprised how many people see what I see, but they may not be saying nothing. So you mm -hmm. people fooling y'all. Right. Mm -hmm. that, that gospel is dried up, but I got 70 songs. You can't sing one. That I can record. No, because they'll probably steal it. Oh, I'll tell okay. you. <laughs> they they thirsty. I'm just, hold on. I got close to 70 songs to turn that whole gospel industry mm. around right now. That's probably enough for like probably five albums mm -hmm. to turn it around on the, the anointing. But guess what? I'm not going to do it. I'm having a good time watching them squirm. All right. Because guess what? You know what? God gives us choice. And the Bible said, nobody said, strengthen not the hand of the wicked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't finna strengthen y'all hands. Because, see, you don't mean me no good. The Bible said, touch not mine, nor do my profit, nor. What I'm gonna strengthen your hands for to stab me in the back of the mouth? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. My aunt, that was my aunt problem. She told yeah. me I started right for them wicked well, women. Well, because she was trying to help mm. me. I ain't helping y'all. <laughs> she was trying I'm, to help I'm content with the little change I got. I know that's true. And I don't know what the songs are, so don't follow me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't giving it. You know what? See, once again, I know we get to the end of this. I understand you're emulating and, and attaching, but you're embarrassing yourself. I cut a video. Got, I got no... No Pat LaBelle, no Lesbian Shirley Caesar, no homosexual G.E. Powson, and no punk Kurt Franklin on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I almost got 500 views on it, 150, wow. 400 some views on it. And I got another one saying only Diana Ross, Aretha Franklin, all, all, um, all singers and actors. No black preachers and gospel singers. Mm -hmm. And I went on in the video stating if you are a black preacher and a black gospel singer, don't attach your little get away around my family. Guess what? They still attaching themselves. <laughs> Somebody thirsty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, you said you knew Kurt Franklin was going to try to do a story on his life because of the Leron Baker story. It was Bobby Light. Uh, another thing too, I think it's you, Kurt Franklin. I got four counts. Mm -hmm. He wants that book, so he want he want he wants to be Mel Hogan. He's so bad. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. First of all, I'm tall, dark, and handsome. <coughs> your little your little trolley looking punky sissy five behind don't look nothing like me. I think he got plastic surgery too. Mm. I think he did, mm. cause his face used to be a little more chummy now. I know he's got a little cheekbones. I, he probably, remember that movie I told you all like, he probably took my picture in there and got some past <laughs> surgery, though, little sissy. But hold on. This, first of all, I make my, I'm tall, dark, and handsome, looking good at, at 54. Your little trolley, faggoty behind, would never be me. The Lord showed me about three years ago that he said, Lerone, he finna do a life story. This year, I, see, I know. And see, I got four accounts. 
and it's mighty funny. The one I told y'all when I said no punk Kurt uh -huh. Franklin. Mm -hmm. For some reason, when you type in my pages, that one shows up every now and then. Mm. But it's like he trying. I, it's probably him or Shirley Caesar. They trying to block it out because he's showing my book cover with mahogany on there. Mm. See, then he copied the image from my book. But I'm guarantee you when I'm guarantee you. But see, he don't even know how to talk to a lawyer. Mm. Waiting on the movie to come out. If I see one T or one I that look anything like Melhagen Reflections, I'm going to sue you. I think they say he might have eight million. I'm not sure. Okay. But guess what? I'm going to sue you for five times because I'm going to sue you for five times what you worth. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to sue you for, sue you for, see if I, I'm going to sue you, see if, if you make 10 million off the movie and I sue you for 10 million, I may not get but five. Mm -hmm. But I'm going for your whole estate. I'm challenging you. Yeah. I'm going to sue you for five times on your net worth, which means you ain't going to have do to bring it on. Because, see, I know he, he wants to see all of a sudden now he coming out with the Kurt Franklin story. You ain't even be, legends. Now, I was putting some of you got legendary Lerone Bacon. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He's talking about legend. He's so stupid. Legends are read, the, read the, the dictionary of a legend is a story that's been handed down from generation to generation. Mm -hmm. You ain't been around but one generation. Yeah. And it doesn't happen to you do something for 30 years. I've been doing what I've been doing since 1981. Yeah. That's 38 years. Yeah. You ain't nowhere near me. You, I come out of a family, not only legends, but icons. Yeah. How you go do a movie? You ought to wait till you die. I mean, I, ain't, I don't know what all. <laughs> now, I'm just saying, I mean, that's a thirsty person to do. Mm -hmm. I did my book because they stole my copyright and they started lying on me, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't straighten it up. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? But uh, Marita Franklin gone. Yeah. Now they finna, I think Jennifer Hudson doing her life story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A respectable person will wait and say, look, I, when I pass on, right. I want you to do my life story. Mm -hmm. You ain't did nothing. Right. <laughs> what you done did that, that you go do a movie except you see me roll me all them reflections and you go try to emulate it. Right. But I tell you one thing, have a happy. But you and that man that you pulled out to do that life story, I want you to put some in there that look like me. I, I pray you do. So I can strip your old 65 punk tail down. Next question. Okay. You said those black preachers and gospel, when they see um, Lerone Baker, they see how incomplete they really they are. Because they keep comparing themselves to That's me. where the resentment comes because from. Because, see, anytime you compare yourself, and I don't want to be sounding like a sounding brass of a tingling cymbal. I'm trying to, I, pray, I said this in the beginning, people, you got to be in the spirit. This, this, if you look at this, this is satanic energy. Over and over, this emulating and duplicating and attaching, it's not of God. No. Okay, you do not need to be, I ain't going to, I don't, and I said this from my heart, it ain't nobody on the planet Earth that I envy. Because you, you don't know. They don't understand I have my struggles too. Right. All they see, everybody. They, they mm -hmm. never see me. They never see me out anywhere because mm -hmm. I don't, most people rarely. I've had I've had a couple of people recognize me probably when I go to the malls. Now mm -hmm. at the malls, I just wear my ball cut and shades. Mm -hmm. I've had people come up to me. A couple of guys, ain't you Lerone Baker? I read your book. I say yes. You know, I've had a couple of guys ask me ask me for my autographs. But guess what, Tim? Mm -hmm. When I go to the post office mm -hmm. and I go down to. Um, the grocery store, I have my shades on mm -hmm. in the hat so they don't recognize mm -hmm. me. So I'm not trying to be seen. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is when you start comparing yourself to other people. They, so what I'm trying to say is that you people don't understand. I got my struggles too. Mm -hmm. right. All they see is Everybody. me dressed nice, sitting here, That's talking, right. Right. talking about God and things. Mm -hmm. But they don't imagine, they can't imagine the days that, you know, I ain't going through nothing really, really, you know, because I don't let stuff linger. Mm -hmm. I chop, it, chop the head off right. then. Mm -hmm. But there are things in me. You know, that I spoke of in my, in my last interview. Mm -hmm. You know, that God fix me. Mm -hmm. Help me. You know, I have my shortcomings and battles mm -hmm. too. I mean, I air them out. Everybody yeah, does. but they don't yeah, see do. me nowhere but on screen or on the TV mm -hmm. or I mean, on, the, on, the, on YouTube that they think, oh, everything's perfect in my world. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to say to you is that you really don't want to be me. Because I don't really think, I don't really think any you can handle. Tim, the spiritual attacks I've been under, mm -hmm. they've been and gave up. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think, I don't think, and alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got somebody, Shirley been calling on, Shirley went through that whole, she done called every gospel singer injury that helped her. Mm. 
since I put that book out, because mm -hmm. she weak, she can't stand against me. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see what I'm saying? I ain't called none of y'all. Mm -hmm. They helped me, and, and y'all attaching y'all self to me. Somebody ain't got no power, but what I'm trying to say to you people is that you don't know what people going through on the other side of the, of, of the fence. Mm -hmm. You're looking at the outer thing. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be me. That's right. You don't. Mm -hmm. yeah. Next question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you said you don't know anything, Donnie, Yolanda, or Kurt Singh. You have never, never, ever seen Sunday's best. Never have. And I'm not saying that in a disrespectful manner, but I, I, I don't know anything but their names. I just found, I don't know, I still don't know nothing you learned that I'm saying. I just found out, I think it was earlier this year, or last year. Y'all heard this song, oh, got a song called My Liberty, Sacrifice His Life oh, for My yeah. Liberty. I just found that, that I, 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 I got to give it to you, Sister Lon, I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I just found that she sings that song mm. with this Lighthouse Choir. I just found that. It, mm -hmm. But see, when it came out, they just said the choir name. Mm -hmm. I don't think it ever named her. That, I love that song, but I didn't know she sang that song. I, I told you the song, Kirk, I don't know nothing else that child sings. Yeah. I don't know none of Donnie sings but one. I don't, I, I don't, I, and I'm not saying this, I don't, like I said about Della and Peggy, mm -hmm. I don't see anything in you people that I want to be. I don't play gospel, I don't play gospel, I have old gospel albums. Mm -hmm. You're not talking about my old stereo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The turntable, everything's like five and something else, turntable mm -hmm. and receiver. But I have old gospel albums in my house. That I've been, I just played the Andre Crouch album um, before I came down, mm -hmm. and um, and it was like uh, um, those those the older songs. I don't listen to today's mm -hmm. gospel music because mm -hmm. to me, you guys, you can't you you can't minister to me. Mm -hmm. I'm from a sacred time where there's there were standards and laws, right. some do's and don'ts, and I don't see you people upholding that. Mm -hmm. And when I don't see you upholding it, I don't play you. I don't think you're purified enough to minister to me. And I mean none of y'all in there. I can call out probably two female gospel singers in that industry that I think, I'm not gonna call their names out because you're gonna flock to them, but no, three, three female gospel mm -hmm. singers that I like this living, that I would probably pay to go see. Mm -hmm. And would love to take a picture of them before God bring them home. Only three, and they're older women, they're not young. Mm. Yeah. They're older, and they're anointed women. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me they are. Mm -hmm. And one female evangelist. The rest of y'all can get on the way around me, because ain't nothing you can do for me but move on. So what I'm saying, no. I don't, I don't follow, and I just found out Kurt Franklin was hosting Sunday Best. I've never seen, I still haven't seen one episode of it. Mm -hmm. Not because, not because of jealousy or envy. Yeah. I don't, I, I not, I'm not interested. Right. I'm not interested. Okay. And, I'm, and, and let me say this, and this sounds, I, I, I cannot stress this enough. Don't be interested in me. I really don't want, you, I want you people to act like you never heard of me. Right. As long as you are, because, and I know that sounds impossible, <laughs> and maybe I'm asking too much, but I, it really truly bothers me, Tony, when I see black preachers and black gospel singers around my videos. I don't come to y'all stuff. I don't, I, I really, I cannot, I keep saying this and I can't stress it. And, and, and I have not backslid to that front. I have told, my eyes are open so much to you people to test me. Yeah. You're sickening, because I know, I can see through them, Tammy, they're not saved. Mm -hmm. They're not sa and I don't even want, I, ain't nothing you can do for me, but leave me alone. I don't want you people around me. I keep saying this over and over and over and over yeah. again. But you keep attacking. Maybe they're doing it to irritate me. You're doing the doggone good job. Because I showed it. So I want you to move. I want you people to act like I do not exist. Next question. Well, you just talked about this. <laughs> you said if they just leave me alone, I wouldn't have anything Tammy, to say to them say, or about none of them. This interview, Donnie, Yolanda, Kurt Franklin. And see, they might try to block this interview out the search engine. I'm noticing that. Yeah, they, they, they can filter stuff. I'm noticing the witchcraft. But baby, they can't, you can't stop me. You know, but see, let me tell y'all something. Y'all about, I don't know how I many, I believe this is going to get some high ratings on this. Mm -hmm. But guess what? 
You brought this on yourself. And I'm telling you, gospel singers and preachers, um, listen to me. If you do not, you brought this on yourself, Yolanda Donnie and Kurt. <laughs> Messing with me. Yeah. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. This, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm not going to let you, you ain't going to take me down. Emulate. Emulate them other punk faggots and punks up in there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Then I, you won't have. You won't hear me say nothing. I won't come up in your concerts. I ain't paying your house and my friends' cars. I don't play you in there. You will if you just leave. If you just leave, Tony. Just leave me alone, <laughs> Tony. We won't record for once a year. <laughs> and I finally can talk about a trip I took in Paris somewhere. I know that's right. On, on Tammy's buddy pass, because she wants to go back. You want for Delta or Live? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Then you, won't, you, you, you people won't hear nothing from me. If you, I've been, Daisy, leave me alone. Mm -hmm. But see, I know it ain't going to happen. Right. You know why? Because you need me. You need me. And I'm not saying that because I want you to need me because I really don't. Because I try for to help you. <laughs> don't do it. Maybe I'm being cold and I want to say this on how far we are to the end. But when Joseph brothers, people preach about Joseph and his brothers mm -hmm. in the Bible. I know we, this is a long interview. But uh, <laughs> people don't understand that God don't make you do nothing. God gives you choice. Mm -hmm. Right. Free will. When Joseph's yeah. brother stripped him of that coat of many colors and threw him in the pit and the drought came, it's a drought in the God. See, what's going right. on is a drought. Mm -hmm. I'm the caravan child. It was an article read a long time ago. Because, see, I come from, I'm the only one come out of that era of the pioneers. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm the I got the mantle. I got the, I, I'm the only one who turn around, but I'm not going to help you. I want God, I want you to die. <laughs> I don't like you. Uh, you know, I, I don't like them because you're hypocrites. Yeah. Well, okay, let me tell you what. This, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you something. I'm in the spirit. You dumb people who keep, God ain't going to curse you. If you talk to God, God ain't going to make you do nothing. When they stripped Joseph of the coat of men and colors, um, their brothers came back crying. Right. Because it was a drought. Mm -hmm. What we go do. So they had stripped him, threw him in the pit. And they looking up at this man, even though it was his brother. Mm. But he threw him in prison for a couple of days. But guess what? He forgave them. Yeah. He didn't have to. No, nope, he didn't. He could have went on and had him beheaded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You go show to that. Because mm. <laughs> I don't have, and guess what? God ain't going to punish me for not wanting to be bothered with you. Because mm. yeah. your tactics of the way you're approaching me, for me to, you know, you're trying to strip me. Right or wrong. Yeah. You're, try, you're trying to constantly undermine what I say and what I do. You know that woman is a backstabbing lesbian. You got evidence right in your face. You going to keep pushing this woman? Mm -hmm. Then you're going to emulate my photographs. Mm -hmm. You're going to cut the footage down of me just simply. You're that intimidated by me. You're going to cut the footage down of me sitting in the audience mm -hmm. at the Stellar Wars. And you think, I'm going to strengthen your hands? Ain't going to happen. You are going to surely die. And they're saying, well, one person don't have that power. You want to find out. When, when you, you, see, you don't know the word. There was a drought. Who exalted Joseph but Pharaoh? Who was bigger than Pharaoh? Mm -hmm. Nobody had power but Pharaoh. And Pharaoh, Joseph found favor yeah. in the eyes of Pharaoh. He said, you do what you need to do and what you got to do yeah. to save the land. Joseph could have killed him, mm -hmm. yeah. but he didn't. Because he chose not to. I ain't got no bitterness in my heart against you. But guess what? I'm not going to help you. The caravan child go take them 70 songs to his grave. For I'm pardoning you hypocrites. Because I don't like you. Move on. Next question. Okay. Right. <clears throat> so you, what did you mean when you say you have a fairy tale life? What I do. What does that mean? I, 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 you know, I kind of do. Uh, and I'm not saying, you know... Because, you know, my, I think I do, because I counted Daisy and Tammy and Tony. I'm telling you people, nip it in the bud when it first happened. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't let stuff keep going on and on right. and on mm -hmm. because it stresses you out. Yeah. 
I, the way I live my life, I, I, I stay out of the gray. Mm -hmm. I believe gray is danger zone. Mm -hmm. I, believe, I believe you keep it light on or light out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Either this relationship go work or it ain't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't be lukewarm. You see what I'm saying? About, right. talk, what did they say, Tammy? How the cold, lukewarm, I'm what? Mm -hmm. Spit you out. Mm -hmm. I, do, I, I think I do kind of have a fairy tale life. I actually have looked over my life, and I can count on practically one hand, the tra tragedies mm -hmm. that have happened. One thing that I think that hurt me that I will never forget is when they stole my copyrights from me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can count in the rape and I got raped at Bishop G. Powson's church. Mm -hmm. I can count on one hand the tragedies, mm -hmm. but I don't have a long arm of tragedies. Mm -hmm. right. And the way I live my life, I don't have to work anymore. I got mm -hmm. my health and strength. I'm like you, Tammy. Mm -hmm. I might can fly, catch a bus, and be gone for weeks and months mm -hmm. and pay my rent from long distance. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I, you know, how many people can say that? Not many. Not many. Mm -hmm. And because I don't let, I don't let, stuff go on, all this stuff contaminate me, I don't fool with the wicked. I think if you keep your life pure and keep the road straight and clean, yeah. you will have a life. Yeah. You have a peaceful life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's next question. That's what it's all about. Okay. Peace. You said you don't have to buy what people are selling. No. You have the choice to say no. Exactly. And I think uh, when people present things to you over the pool pit, and uh, I hope y'all, you can't receive nothing I'm saying unless you're in the spirit. You don't have to submit to what people tell you. Mm -hmm. You have the choice to use your mm -hmm. own mind to yeah. discern it and pray and see if it's of God. Mm -hmm. That's basically what mm -hmm. I'm saying. You don't have to go along with it. I don't have to go along with what you're doing. I don't care mm -hmm. how ugly y'all try to make me look. I'm, I'm telling the truth. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So I have nothing to fear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. Next question. That's it. Okay, we do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love y'all. And your closing. And by closing, what you want? Hold on, Tony. What you want me to say, Daisy? Um, this interview, these interviews are solely about you covering you, not them. Exactly. You know, I want y'all to know, I'm, um, got everything I say, and when I do these interviews, is to protect the covering over my life, mm -hmm. the mantle on my life, because I think about Rosa Parks. She would have been just one of the others mm -hmm. if she would have moved to the back right, of the bus. Right. You got right. to, You would have never heard about. You would. You mm -hmm. got to put your foot down on some things mm -hmm. and never ever be afraid to speak out because these interviews. Although I don't think y'all go intervene for me, I, I ain't looking for you too. But what I but what I have done that you're not aware of is when you, the couple interviews I've done, mm -hmm. angels have just God has just been. They don't even see what's happening. See that's what the emulate see. They know, they know the spiritual anointing power. This is when right. they're trying to lash on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Angels are being loose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God, is, God is just cutting it down. They're wondering why. It's you wondering why it's taking 10 women on a program <laughs> to get, get some people in the building that probably mm -hmm. still ain't going to come. Because God has cursed you for messing with the anointing. Yeah. You're playing church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. So that's what I'm trying to say. When you speak it out, angels go. They move in your behalf. Right. That's so right. the moment this air, y'all gonna be all bent out of shape when, mm -hmm. when when you know you know you ain't getting no more engagements to sing. Hello, and maybe Kurt Frank, you keep playing with me, God gonna ship you off Sunday's best. <laughs> okay. Keep on keep on doing your witchcraft. God go cut you down. Next, okay, we too. God bless you. <laughs> bye bye. Let go. Bye bye. See ya. Too new. <laughs>